Hi, this is Robert Kane with C-Agri. Today we're going to talk a little bit about how to build a electroconductive compost bin. The premise behind that is that electronic charge generated between the earth and the sky uh, will electrify the different corners of the bin and cause a current uh, to pass through it and thereby de de uh, breaking down the compost uh, quicker than it normally would. But I want to go over the equipment that you're going to need first. Uh, you're going to need a circular saw with a good sharp blade. You're going to need a sawzall with a metal cutting blade, safety goggles, a axe or an awl with a big end on it that you can drive the uh, rebar into the earth with, a good pair of gloves, and an electric drill with a half inch bit. Tape measure comes in handy too, and a sharpie or a uh, some sort of a pencil that you can mark holes with. Uh, we're going to have uh, initially purchased 19 uh, railroad, uh, not railroad, but uh, landscape timbers, eight foot long, and from those uh, we're going to cut 32 inch pieces. You'll get three out of each landscape timber with a hole drilled exactly two inches from each end, and you'll need uh, exactly uh, 21 of those. And then we'll have uh, some short ones that are four inches long with, again, a hole drilled directly in the center. And you'll need nine of them. And then on the, uh, the long uh, landscape timbers, we're going to drill a hole at each end two inches in and then at the very center at four feet. In addition, you'll need four pieces of uh, half-inch rebar uh, that are ten feet long, and we're going to cut those in half each one and have exactly the uh, right number of pieces we need for the construction. Okay, so now we're out in the garden and we've got the uh, compost bin area set up. Uh, we've used three of the short 32 inch pieces that had the holes drilled in them and we put the rebar through them and pounded them just a little bit into the ground so they're standing up straight. And we're going to build this structure now kind of like a Lincoln log setup. And as we get going here I'll show you again where we're at so you know exactly how to do it. Okay, and here we are. We've constructed about half of it, and you can see how we've we've uh, taken the basically built it like Lincoln logs and woven the uh, different pieces onto uh, onto the rebar and um, constructed it so that we can reach under this side and uh, take the material out and then transfer it to the other, and it'll be just high enough to where we can um, uh, put the material in over the top. Here we are with the finished product. As you can see, we'll be able to take the material out of here and transfer it over to the other side. What I'm saying is we probably put a pile of earth right here, put the, the um, carbon or the matter in and cover it with the soil, a little bit of the C90, and then just keep piling it up until it reaches the top and then transfer it over to the other side. And we're basically building a soil making machine here. And uh, you can see that we've driven these rods in. These two, we hit rock down below, so we're going to probably have to come back and saw those off uh, so that it looks good. But we're not going to put any kind of nursery cloth inside. Just leave it open so there's lots of air movement, have lots of, of uh, aerobic bacteria working in it. And um, if you'd like to have a set of plans for this, come to seagri.com, S-E-A-A-G-R-I.com, and we'll have a set of plans there for how to all the different parts and uh, the, the uh, tools and everything that you need to construct it. Thank you and happy gardening.